Hi there, this is a little video that, I'm, uh, that I've made to show you how to use a simple program um, a simple program that I just call Anki Friendly and it's just to get simple Chinese text translated and get it into Anki real quick um, something like this um, there's a text that I've been translating just to study, I've only been studying Chinese for about a month one thing I'm really annoyed with is all the, all the mucking around trying to get the text into Anki in a, in a good way. I spent a lot of time formatting and trying to get my decks to look just the way I want. So this is going to make it easier for me. It has made it easier for me. Maybe it'll make it easier for somebody else. Basically what we'll end up with is a card that has a large Chinese text at the front. And then on the back it'll have the English translation, the pinion for it and audio. Um, of course you can add whatever else you want. Um, first I'll show you how to set it up. Create a new deck. I'm going to call it test just for this. And in that we are going to set the card and um, we're actually going to choose close. Choose close. Um, it'll set it up for us at the beginning. And go into cards and I've supplied this text file and it just copy and paste in and copy over everything if my control C actually works okay styles I'll explain this all at the end of the video what it all does just in the beginning I'll explain just how to set it up um, it's it's sort of complicated I guess it's, it's as complicated as it will get for Anki I'm sure okay so that's done that's it finished now everything that will output from the program um, we just put in the text field. If you want something in the extra, you can put in the extra, but it doesn't matter. Um, and where is... what am I even doing? There we go. Here's the program. That's the dictionary. That's the open source one that is available to everybody. Res is going to have files in it. There's already some files now. Just delete them for, the, for this. So run the program. It's a basic dictionary program. Now, there's a search bar. That's all we really need to know for now find a word, this word here, which means teacher. I'm just going to copy it. Normally I would highlight it, have a little notepad open and copy it in, type in the meaning, type in the pronunciation, load it into Anki, and then in Anki I've got a little add-on which can do a Google TTS audio, which, which is really cool. But now, pump it in here, get our result. When you click on that, don't worry about case sensitive or traditional. Traditional will just make sure that the second set won't be shown. If you want traditional, if you want simplified, then I guess you delete the traditional out. But I'm sticking to traditional, so I'll do it like that. Click this, it'll get the audio file from the Google TTS. It'll generate it and pop it in the resource folder. The file name will be this, the word. Opinion is that, and translation is that. Now here is where it all happens. Um, this is going to be our output. This is what actually we're going to put into Anki once we click generate. Here's the pattern for it. It'll be the word, then a hash to separate the card out, English translation, and then another hash to separate the card out, which will be the pinion. And don't worry about the audio, which is going to be the closed deletion. Um, that won't be visible anyways. I've done it as a closed deletion because otherwise it would be impossible to create a card that would have only one field and still have audio only play on the second card. You could do this without using a closed deletion, but like I said, the audio will play before the answer. So just leave that as is, that's how it is when you run the program. And remember, don't delete the hashes and blah, blah, blah. You could change these around, the order, and you can even type stuff in. It doesn't matter. Click Generate. That is the text that will go into Anki. Just hit Copy to copy the clipboard. Now, in your newly generated deck and card type, um, I'm just going to paste it in. Of course, if you didn't want to overwrite the normal close type, just create a new one. I just overwrote it because... I don't really care. Okay, hit add, and that's it. Obviously, repeat for every word you want. When you click study, you get the word nice and big, 
and when you click you get translation and opinion different formatting and obviously you can't hear on the on this video that it played the audio for that and yep that's done that's how to use the program um, now if you didn't know to add you to create a new type of card you just click add I overwrote the closed one because I actually wasn't even using it um, so once we've chosen closed we can click on cards and get that back now I'll explain this so it's got this standard closed text there it's going to be invisible because in the styling I have wherever it is I've set it to hidden so you can't see that um, it's like brackets with three dots and it's blue um, JavaScript F will equal the text that we put into the field um, because this is only the, the um, just the word it'll go to that hash and it'll only have everything before the, the first hash it'll set this new div that I created it will set it to be <coughs> sorry it will set it to be the word that is styled in the stylings <coughs> for the back template um, it's done the same thing except I've split it by the hash and we've got now front English and pinion um, divs down here so they can have their own styling of course so F card is the word English there and pinion there the only difference at the moment I have with English and pinion is I made the pinion blue just to show the difference in formatting on my own card um, I've made it um, different different uh, font sizes different colors um, simply because it's it, it makes it easier for for different things to stand out and more important information to stand out um, if you if you know much about JavaScript in fact JavaScript is super easy so um, chances are you do um, you'll be able to use this to add more hashes if you want to this and have it separate out even more information just however you want basically it makes it so easy to go from the word from from our source material to a usable Anki input and format it at an audio file all at the same time it will take you rather than a minute easily a minute to add something probably before it took me two or three minutes and um, this will wheel it down to you know 10 seconds you could literally go through this entire text adding adding all the words that you're you're unfamiliar with in in minutes so that's how we do that um, anything else I need to add to that I don't think so just read read the um, read the readme on the page and everything will be very straightforward thank you